Hello YouTube and welcome to another PFSense tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to enable automatic backup in PFSense. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as a system administrator you must implement a backup plan for every device on your network. So here we are actually implementing backups for uh, our PFSense device so we need a backup strategy and one of those strategies that are very known is the 3 2, 1 backup strategy so if you don't know that it means so the number 3 means to keep at least 3 copies of your data so you make the primary backup the first backup and second backup and the number two means to store backup on two different type of media. So for example, you keep a backup on a hard drive and second one on the NAS server or the tape drive, okay? And finally, the number one on this uh, backup strategy means to keep at least one backup offsite. So you even uh, put a backup on the cloud or on a remote location, okay? So we're gonna actually implement a backup here for our PFSense, okay? So the first thing to know is where the configuration file is located. So let me just show you that. So if you actually connect to your uh, PFSense console, you can see this menu here. So if you type uh, number 8 in order to go to the shell So here I'm on the shell So by default I am on this uh, root directory So if I print the working directory you can see that I am on slash root So let's list the content of the directory cf conf So you can see it contains a lot of files and one of them is this config.xml file so this file holds actually our configuration okay so we can just cut it to see what it what is inside so we can see it's a bunch of uh, xml uh, tabs okay and it contains actually all our data okay or actually configuration so you can implement a manual backup just before copying this file to another server or a remote location if you want, okay? So normally you will do that via the GUI. So you go to your Diagnostics tab and you click on this backup and restore menu actually. And here you can find a download button. So download configuration as an XML file. So you click on it and the file is actually downloaded so you can keep it on your PC or another actually location or server if you want. But as you have seen this uh, type of backup is actually manual. You have to do it yourself. Okay. But there is also another way that you can do it which is called actually automatic backup okay so in order to do that you go to services and here you will see there is a menu called auto config backup so if I click on it this is actually the page which allows you to configure automatic backup so by default here you can see enable ECB so ECB E stands for auto, C for config, and the P for backup. So by default it's disabled. So you can just check this box here in order to enable automatic configuration backup. Okay. So here is the backup uh, frequency. So you can do that automatically backup on every configuration change, or you can choose a regular schedule. So if I click for example this here on automatic backup in regular schedule I can configure this backup to be done on specific minutes or hour or day or month or day of week 
is actually a cron job okay but for me I always go with this automatically backup on every configuration change so then I will be sure that I always have actually the most recent backup okay and here you have actually to provide an encryption password because remember this automatic backup will be stored on Netgate server okay, which are located on their data centers so in order to ensure that your config file will not be written it's first encrypted using encryption key then it's sent to the Netgate data centers so let's choose for example a password so normally you will choose a strong password with the password generator if you want so I will confirm this password here okay then here you can provide a hint or edit identifier this identifier will actually uh, let netgate to locate your device but you can leave it empty if you want so let's just call it uh, for example uh, my pfsense so the manual backups to keep so it may be useful to specify how many manual backups are retained on the server so that the automatic backups do not overwrite them so a maximum of 50 retained manual backups so here also you can leave it empty and it will be actually kept 15 backup retained on the server and finally here is the check uh, button here list backup in descending order so you can also do that if you want so I will just check this box okay and I will save so now the automatic config backup are actually kept so for the restore here for the restore key here you can see that I have no configuration till now but there is a very important actually uh, parameter which is the device key so this device key you should actually save it in a safe location because it's an ID that you use to identify this firewall so if you want for example to restore your configuration backup on another uh, server or another machine or device you have to provide this device key and this device key actually is derived from the SSH public key as you can see here okay and finally there is another tab backup now so you can just uh, do a manual also backup in order to be actually also saved on netgate servers okay so in order to test that it's pretty easy let's just see here uh, what's going on here on this automatic configuration backup so here auto config settings updated and by default installed a cron job on this uh, location here in order to uh, do manual backup so for example let's change something here so remember here on the setting we have specified to do do backups automatically on every configuration change so if I change for example just something here for example on the dashboard if I add for example let me see uh, CR CARP status even I don't have here high availability so just for testing purposes I added this this uh, dashboard and if I save that so now let's return back actually to our uh, services auto config backup and on the restore tab you will notice 
that something will be actually added to this dashboard here. So you can see now there is another backup that has been added. So widget configuration has been changed. Okay. So that's the beauty of keeping backups on every configuration change. And it's always helpful to do that. But remember for the configurations that here that is actually backupped, the installed packages are not saved. So you have actually to install them if you restore from backup. But the setting of the, for example, the packages will be always saved. Okay. So that was just a brief uh, video to show you how to enable automatic backup in PFSense. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. And of course, if you have any suggestion for a future video, drop them in the comments below. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.